today's video we're going to take a look at how to take off your old thermal paste and reapply the new thermal compound. Obviously there's a couple of ways to do it so we're going to do it the correct way and uh, we're going to show you guys uh, how to apply that properly. So uh, without further ado, let's take a look. So this is the equipment we're going to be using today to remove the thermal paste and then obviously reapply it. So I'm going to go through some of the equipment I'll be using. I'm going to be using four major things. Um, you might obviously use different to me, you might obviously use different um, different brands or makes or whatever. So I'm just going to run through the stuff that I'm going to use today. So first of all, we've got our thermal, um, we have our uh, thermal material remover. What this does, it removes obviously your old thermal paste. And then obviously you can wipe it down with your lint-free cloth that I will show you in just a minute. So we're going to apply that first. After we've applied this, we're going to wipe it off with the lint-free cloth we have here. Got this off uh, eBay for about a pound, so you can you, you probably you, you know if you look around your cupboards, maybe your mom might have one, or just go on eBay like I did and just uh, purchase this for about a quid. So it's not too bad. After we've used the thermal paste remover, we're also going to use the um, thermal surface purifier, and what this is going to do. Is going to uh, it's going to purify obviously the thermal paste remover. So it's going to remove any of the residue off off your CPU. So obviously then it'll be ready to reapply thermal paste. The thermal paste in today's video we're going to be using Arctic Silver Five. This is a very high density um, thermal paste. You might have heard me mentioning it in my H100 video. This is the actual paste I've got on my CPU at the minute. I originally did have obviously the H100 pre-applied thermal paste, but obviously because I had to take all my computer apart because uh, I got a new case, which I will be doing a video on a later date. Uh, I've applied this and it's really good stuff. It's probably the cheap, one of the cheapest and best on the market at the minute. So uh, do go on RA.co.uk or Scan Computers or even eBay to uh, pick the stuff up. First of all, I'm going to apply obviously the uh, thermal material remover. So what this is going to do is basically remove the thermal compound. So I'm just going to apply that in there. And what you want to do, you want to get it uh, just in the middle there. So I'm just going to apply a few drops. You don't need too many drops, about three or four drops. Just make sure it doesn't actually touch the motherboard itself or else you would have a bit of a disaster. Oh, that smells funky. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to let that soak in a little bit. And what I tend to do then is just uh, get the micro get the microfiber cloth and just uh, basically press on it a little bit. As you can see, it's going towards the edge now. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to press on it just like that. You can hold your board if you wish. Um, and I'm just going to wipe it like so. And as you can see, you'll start to see the thermal, the old thermal compound to be removed. If you do have a little bit more on there, then you can apply a bit more but not too much um, just basically just keep applying it in the certain areas where you want to remove the thermal paste and what this does here it just basically um, just basically like lubes it up if you'd wish to say <laughs> and then basically you can wipe it off really easy so it saves you scratching away at it so as you can see that's that's coming off really nicely oh that's really nice so as you can see there we've got a really clean CPU there so that's all done after we've done this um, if you if you prefer to use obviously stuff from the chemist to clean it I think it's I'm not too sure what it's called but it's um, it's something to obviously remove the thermal paste you can get it in pharmacies and other bits and bobs so what I've done, I've obviously bought Arctic Silver 5 stuff just to you know, be on the safe side. I, I think it's really high, highly recommended. It does the job so so easy and so well. And it's, um, you, you know, you can guarantee it's going to work. So now I'm going to apply the thermal surface purifier. And what this will do, will get any crap off what I've actually just applied by the thermal material remover. So I'm just going to apply a few a few drops of that. Uh, it does say, I have read that you should leave it for a couple of minutes, but I don't think it really matters as long as you spread it out all across the chip. So you just want to leave that there. You can let it soak for five if you want. Just keep an eye on it, just so it doesn't spread onto your uh, motherboard itself. 
Polaris, so you'll be having uh, a couple of problems when you boot it up. So again, just like I did before, just want to dab it on, move it around, just like that, just to get all of that thermal material remover off. So after you've done that, as you can see, nice and clear. And that's the first step of it. So after we've done the first step, we then want to apply some thermal compound, which is going to be your new your Arctic Silver 5, which in, in this case I'm going to be using. So there are very, you know, there's there's quite a few ways on how to apply this. Some people like to do it in lines. Some people you should normally dab a blob in the middle and then obviously spread it with a credit card or um, a Visa card or like some cardboard all over the uh, the CPU. But the only problem with that is then when you place your CPU cooler on top of it or as known heatsink it will actually spread it off the actual chip and it might affect your motherboard so the best way to do it the one of the best ways at the minute is to apply a pea size amount in the center of the board itself so you just want to put about da -da 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 -da, just a pea size not too much try get it in the center as much as possible as you can see there it's just in the minute in the center so now what I'm going to do, instead of using the heat sink itself, I'm going to use a an old card of mine just so um, just to show you the demo because obviously they don't have to detach the heat sink and whatnot. So this uh, government gateway card is going to be my heat sink for today. <laughs> so what you're basically going to do is once you've applied your thermal compound, you're going to put your heat sink on. So you're going to place it on there and you're just going to push firmly down like so obviously this might work a bit different to your uh, CPU because obviously I'm not applying as much pressure to spread out the um, thermal compound so what you're going to do you're going to press it on and then obviously tighten your CPU cooler on tighten it up as much well not as much as possible but they normally say to apply equal pressure on both sides and what I'll do, I'll take this off and we'll see how it's actually spread. I'm just trying to spread it out as much as possible because I'm not putting enough pressure on it as a CPU cooler would. So what I'm going to do now, and then that's it. Basically, that that will be everything. You know, you won't need to do anything else after that. You, obviously, when you um, top it up every month, you just do exactly the same. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull this off. And as you can see, it's spread out. That is probably one of the best ways to do it. Obviously mine hasn't spread out as much because I haven't applied as much pressure on it but when you guys put your heat sink on it will apply it to the majority of the chip. Uh, what this will do then is obviously it will cover the whole of your heat sink which, which you actually want so that will be all applied and uh, ready to go. So that's my video of how to apply, well how to remove and apply film paste. Hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, if you guys got any problems or questions then just uh, please comment on the video below or just give me a message and uh, I'll try uh, try help you guys um, to do that. Also if you want you can actually remove the chip if you don't trust yourself doing it on the motherboard. AMD and uh, Intel are exactly the same, just basically take your chip out. I'm using this on Intel at the minute, this board is Intel so I'm just going to show you guys how to take the chip out. So you'll have a little hatch here well latch sorry and you want to press it down and bring it out and then it flick up like that then you remove the um, the part here like like so and obviously your chip is um, exposable so then we're gonna remove the chip you just want to be very gentle with it and there you go you can place that then on an anti-static bag itself and then basically just um, apply it like that it's it just saves you obviously if you don't trust yourself with liquids and like computer parts and you can just do that on the anti-static back and that will work fine for you and obviously once you've done that you know uh, just line the arrow in the corner to your arrow on your board you roll your chip to the board and then place it in and do exactly the same as we did before get the hatch wash it down, tuck it under and there we go and that is how you apply thermal compound 
Hope you guys like the video. Like I said before, please comment, subscribe, and like the video if you liked it. And then uh, leave some comments if you can. Cheers, guys.